All right, today we have a hot water heater that isn't giving us any hot water. And if I look through here, through these vents, I can see that the green error light is flashing a code at us. One, two, three, four. And you look over here, four flashes is ignition failure. So when it, when it has an error so many times, it goes into a shutdown mode. So you're gonna have to turn it off, turn it back on so you can see what it's doing. I'm gonna pull the panel off on the bottom also. All right, got the panel off there. These are your burners, you got your gas valve, and this is your igniter. So what we're gonna do is pull these igniter, igniter wires off and check for resistance. And if we don't have any, the igniter is broken. Well, this igniter appears to be bad. I'm gonna get two Phillips screwdrivers and pull it out. You can usually see when you pull it out that it's bad. It'll be obviously broken. All right, so we're pulling out the igniter and you wanna be really careful with it. It's, it's really fragile on the other end there. You can break it pulling it out. You wanna see if it's broken, so. The next screw, you're going to want to support this. Just hold it against the uh, plate that it's mounted to until the screw's out. Then you got to pull it straight out. Just pull it straight out of there. Looks like it's bad right here. Yep, we got a break right there. All right, so we got our new uh, new igniter here, hot surface igniter. This is a lock and bar boiler. There's the part number for the new one. And just to show you how easily these things break, I just set this down and it snapped right off. So you gotta be real careful with it. pulling it out of the box you gotta you gotta be careful with it and that one is still still intact so we're gonna we're gonna use it in our case we're just gonna cut these ends off and use the wire nuts slide that over Put it on there. And I'll leave the label on there. That way, if we, in the future, we needed to order another one, we got the part, part number there that we need.
goes in like this. You want to put it straight in there. Be real careful with that heating element. Get your screws started in there. these back on doesn't matter which which way it goes it'll work either way We gotta put our cover back on for this to work because the, the blower pulls air out of here and this if this isn't sealed, then this vacuum switch won't close the circuit for everything else to run. So we gotta put that cover back on. Now that we have the bottom cover on, we're going to start it up, see what happens, wait for it to run through and fire. If we don't get an error code, then we know we fixed it. Blower's kicking on. Feel this pipe, we'll know when the, when the fire started. you replace the igniter on a lock and bar boiler that won't heat. Thanks for watching.